speaking slowly so you can understand just a couple of teachers just doing a thing speaking slowly so you can understand just a couple of teachers just doing a thing Cheers to beers. Cheers to beers. Clink. Now, this episode is coming out while I'm in Canada. Yeah, all the way across the sea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Running around, riding moose, your body covered in maple syrup (laughs) and the cold autumn air. (sighs) Yeah. I (laughs) mean, is that what you do? I don't yeah. know what you do. What do you what are you most looking forward to uh for your Canadian trip? Um for my trip to Canada, seeing my family is the number one reason to go. Of course. So the three boys and your father will reunite. Well, no, cuz no. I'll I'll go to Toronto and see my older brother. Okay. And then I'll go to Vancouver and I'll see my dad and my younger brother. All right. Yeah, and all my friends. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I have a a boys' weekend trip planned. Oh, you dirty, dirty yes, dog! With about ten friends. Yeah, ten of my friends from mostly from high school. Wow, ten! You got ten friends? Yeah. Yeah. I, don't I mean, think I have ten friends. Really? Well, probably not really. Well, it's nice because the last time I went back. We did a trip, mm-hmm. a weekend, and we started a group chat. Okay. Um, and it's nice for me because all the friends are in this one group. Right. This chat. And uh, everyone continued to use the chat. Do you have a special name for your group? No, I should make a name. You've got to make a group. name. Yeah. Bo- weekend Boys Club. I th- I don't. Yeah. The Weekenders. Yeah, anyway, uh, we have another trip planned with the same group. So okay. we kept that group going. It's uh, a tight group. Yeah, we're all oh. good friends. So what are you doing? Are you going to hire, are you going to rent a cabin in the woods? Or? Actually, my family has a cabin. Oh, ah, yeah. On an, on an the island. Lakeside. Oh, no, island one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, in between Vancouver and Vancouver Island. Wow. It's a whole island? Well, no. The, <laughs> the cabin is on an island. <laughs> Just imagine. Lawson you, Island. Lawson Island. Yeah. The runway. Here comes the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Food's delivered once a week. No, but it is, it's, a, it's a cabin that's shared between all the families on my dad's side. Uh, okay. So you have to let everyone know. Guys, this weekend's my boys' weekend. Well, as soon as I decided I was coming back to Canada, yeah, we all started talking about, oh, yeah, let's do a, a get-together. Okay. A weekend. Cool. How so, do you access this island? Uh, you take a ferry. It's the only way. Well, I mean, a helicopter, I guess. You, you could, could do a helicopter. Or a seaplane. Submarine. <laughs> but once you're on no. the island... That's it. What do you mean, that's it? Like you can't just leave. You can't just walk away. You have to go to the ferry terminal and wow. take a ferry to Sounds get cool. home. Sounds like a horror movie. Have you ever been on an island? <laughs> yeah, I've been on a couple. <laughs> do, you, do you understand islands? Yeah, well, I'm not, you know, I haven't been on many islands Okay. Uh, where I'm, I can't drive away. Well. <laughs> <laughs> There's no bridge. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you can visit the island one day. Oh, one fine day. With your whole family. Nah. It's a great... Let's not Let's not. It's a great, get ahead of ourselves. It's a I great... I'll come, just me. You don't want to bring them. <laughs> no, I just want to make sure it's safe for the family. Well, we're going, yeah. just the boys. Sure. No family. Okay. 
to just party for a couple no days. family no yeah. wife mm-hmm. just a bunch of bunch of wild boys. Hot, horny boys <laughs> not horny <laughs> not horny yeah not hot <laughs> anyway then uh there is a there's a what there's a what about you there's a what about me this is an old question that I forgot to ask. I so. okay. Even questions as old as time. If you've got a question, old, new, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Just ask in a day. Give it to us, give it to us, where we damn. A few people asked this question. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to hear the story about how you became a vegetarian. Really? Yeah. Well, it's not a very interesting story. What made you become a vegetarian? When I was in the first year of high school. Okay, so 15? 12. Oh, so Australia is the same as Canada. Yeah, we don't have junior high school. Oh, okay. Well, same as my city. Okay. No junior high school. Oh, different cities have different Different, school systems? Yeah. Different provinces. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Well, in Australia, it's six years primary or elementary, Mm -hmm. six years high school. Okay. And that's it. Where I'm from, it's seven years elementary, five years high school. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Well, in year seven, as we say. Yeah, we would say grade seven. Grade seven. Yeah. Right. Uh, I became friends with a group of people who were really into activism, I would say. Activism, like kind of... Protesting against the system. So they're actively protesting. Yeah, yeah against bad things in the world just little punks really okay we were skater punks listening to punk music okay angry with the world so was animal cruelty one of the things you protested against that's where i got introduced to the idea that there's animal cruelty in the meat industry. So I started researching and, yeah, I felt like it was a horrible industry, environmental. Were all of your friends vegetarian? Oh, no. Like you had to become a vegetarian to become friends with them? Not at all. I think maybe one of them was actually vegetarian. But I kind of took the idea and ran with it. Ah, uh, So you got the idea from them and you really jumped into it. Yeah. And my mother had been vegetarian for a while in her younger years. So one day, basically, I woke up 12 years old and I walked into the kitchen. 12 years old? 12 years old. And I said, Mum, I'm vegetarian. And she said, no, you're fucking not. Eat your breakfast. Eat your bacon. Really? And I said, no, starting from today... I'm vegetarian. Hmm. And there's nothing you can do about it, Mum. Uh, you're entering that kind of rebellious oh, phase, yeah. mm. becoming a teenager and right. wanting to do rebellious things. Yeah, like fuck the system. Refuse to eat your mother's meat. Yeah, I'll never eat mother's meat. <laughs> <laughs> so my mother and father thought it was a phase a phase. He's going so through a phase. They thought it was just something that you would do for a short time. Yes. He'll get over it. Boy, were they wrong. Oh, they were wrong. Yeah. yeah. So here I am, 25 years later, still essentially vegetarian. Now, when you became a vegetarian at 12 years old, yeah, what did you eat like well i was very stupid and uneducated so i thought it was very simple just cut meat 
don't eat meat. Yeah, easy. Now, now you eat eggs. Right. But back then... Oh, no, I ate eggs. You did. You never stopped eating eggs. I, I used to make sure they were free range and, you know... Right. Which my mum bought anyway. Free range eggs, meaning chickens are raised. Yeah. And able to run around. They're not kept in a cage. Yeah. Yeah, basically. It's still, you know, whatever. It's more humane. It is. More humane. Less cruel. Yeah. So after about four days of just refusing meat, uh, I woke up in the morning ready for school and I had a head spin. You mean you got dizzy? Super dizzy. And I fainted. Really? Yeah, I passed so you out. Suddenly felt dizzy. Yeah. And then you passed out. Everything went black and I woke up on the floor. Because you <laughs> didn't have meat? <laughs> I didn't have I had n- almost no iron in my body. Oh, iron. Yeah. So after you quit eating meat, you didn't get any iron. I didn't replace meat with anything. Right. Okay. So mm. meat has iron. Yeah, which is basically the foundation of your energy. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. So iron is very important. Super in your important. Diet. Yeah. It's a basic element. So iron. iron. I went to the iron. I went to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Well, my mum said, if you're going to do this, there's a deal. You have to talk to a nutritionist. Okay. And now, get your educated. Mom is, your mum's an amazing woman. She is, yeah. She's great. She took yeah. good, good care of you. She did. She made sure you got all your nutrients. Yeah. And she let me sort of take my own path as well. She supported my idea, but she she did it through an adult perspective. So only the first day she was like, eat your fucking bacon. Yeah. But after that, she supported your... Yeah, she said, oh, he's maybe he's serious about this. Right. Yeah, and I was. Uh, so, yeah, the nutritionist said, "You are." I was anemic, which means iron deficient. I had not enough iron in my body. So I was very weak. So they said, you have to eat beans and tofu. And certain grains. Uh, and yeah, I had to learn about a healthy diet without meat. Okay. Yeah. Which oh. was boring. I didn't care about. But, but in the end. You realized when you got dizzy and passed out, oh, this is serious. Yeah, because it only took a few days and I felt like shit. I had no energy. Mm. I was like, wow. Um, so yeah, that's... Really that. And you never looked back? You never thought, ah, you know what? I want to eat meat again. No, I never looked back. Really? Yeah. Well, look, you know me. I don't push my opinions on anyone. Mm -hmm. But one thing I would like to see is people properly educated about where their food comes from. Right. If you say, I love to eat meat, but I don't want to think about the meat factory. Well... You're being a little bit irresponsible. I think you are. Yeah. Yeah. You're being a little bit, I don't know. I don't like My thoughts are like, oh, the terrible meat factory. Oh, but I'm going to make a really nice steak. Well, just understand it. If you're happy with that, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not happy with it, Mm. but it's so affordable and convenient. Don't hide from the fact where your food comes from. Know where your food comes from. Right. At least. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should be, every school child should be taken to an abattoir just to see what's how an, it works. What's an abattoir? A meat factory. Um, an abattoir? I've never heard the word abattoir. No. Come on. What are you talking about? Do you, you mean a, a meat lover? Do you mean a slaughterhouse? Yes, an abattoir. As the French, you don't use abattoir? No. Wow. It's called a slaughterhouse. I mean, slaughterhouse is fucking rock and roll. I love to say it. But the (laughs) correct name. You mean because it sounds so gruesome? Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. My dad worked in a slaughterhouse. Figures. (laughs) So (laughs) it's an abattoir. (laughs) What do you mean it figures? Well, I don't know. Violent hunting man. 
<laughs> like a dream when job. you say hey. that, it figures. Mm. It means, oh, that makes sense. It figures. Interestingly, he he went from animal killer to animal helper. He wasn't the killer in the SWAT slaughterhouse. Oh, he wasn't? No. Okay. He said the killer was a really weird guy. You know, I mean, like the person who actually uses the thing to kill bolt, the animal. The bolt gun. Yeah, the bolt gun. Yeah. He said was a, a really weird dude who fought in the Vietnam War. Oh, okay. And he well, was a perfect man for the job. Pretty, pretty strange that, guy. That's who you want. <laughs> on the bolt gun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's job was like, I don't know, chopping or something. Slicing, He's a chopper. Slicing or so chopping. Slice. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't the killer. <sighs> cool. Anyway, anyway. He, he didn't like the job. Well, he became a vet. A veterinarian, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did after that. Continued killing animals, but he, to he, put them out of their misery. Always been a hunter. Right. As you know. Grew up on an island. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking your dad's basically predator. Oh, man. If we record while I'm in Canada, I want to get my dad get on, your dad on, on the on mic. There. Yeah. Maybe I can to. call my dad and we can have a meeting. Of oh, the that dads. would be awesome. A if, dad battle. If our dads visited Japan at the same time. Oh, God, that would be great. That would be amazing. I want them to, we should get a children's pool Fill it with oil. <laughs> get our dads to get just down in their little uh, underpants. Why? And have a wrestle. Why? See who who has no. the strongest dad. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. We well, could we could, uh, we could uh, have it as premium content for the <laughs> listeners. <laughs> premium dad wrestling. All right, Ben, I got to go. D D D W F. I have dad wrestling <laughs> federation. <laughs> We have to wrap it up. Okay. We have to wrap it up. Thank you for sharing your vegetarian story. Uh, I hope you liked it. A bit boring. Sorry. No. It's it's always interesting to hear about someone who has such strong uh, convictions about anything, how they became that way, and how you deal with it. Because it is a huge inconvenience. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm always going out with a big rich to the yakitori restaurant when you're like, nah, I'll just eat at home and meet you guys later <laughs> for a beer. I had my spinach roll <laughs> and my tofu cube. Yeah. Anyway, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, FBE Teacher Talk. Subscribe on YouTube. Five stars. Five star review on Apple Podcasts or wherever. Comments, emails. Yeah, ask a question. Hmm. If you got a question, anything's okay. If you got a question, just, just ask, ask Ben and Abe. Uh, give me suggestions on my new haircut. Oh. Gonna have a haircut. I think your haircut will be. You know what? Next episode, this, I'll have a mohawk. Okay. Well, three weeks. Or are you gonna have cut your hair by then? Next episode, you see, I will have a mohawk. No, you won't. I will. <laughs> no, you won't. Let's make a bet. Okay. Are right. you serious? Yeah. Okay. A bet? What? Do, what's the bet for? Uh, a delicious beer of my choosing, as usual. Okay. Hey, On did, tape. did you buy me a beer for our last bet? I did. Yeah, you did? I remember. Okay. Yeah. I believe you. But then you bought me one, so it didn't really. Ah. Uh, hey, what's a beer between friends? Hey, cheers to beers, mate. Cheers to beer, okay. Thank you so much. Good See night. you next time. No. When the snow dogs go snowboarding, shredding it up on the mountain side. When the snow dogs come, ain't no place to hide. <clears throat> Digging, sniffing, doing sweet 